In this video, we will talk about elementary matrices. So recall the elementary row operations here. Uh, you can replace rows, you can interchange rows, and you can multiply a number by a scalar, a non-zero scalar. So these are the allowed row operations. So uh, what are elementary matrices? Suppose we have this matrix and we want to do an elementary row operation. For instance, taking negative two times this first row and adding it into the second row. So when we do that, this will become this matrix. An elementary matrix is a matrix such that if we multiply an elementary matrix E to this matrix, then after the matrix multiplication, we get a matrix that you did the row operation to. So there are three different types of elementary matrices for each elementary row operation. So how can we get this elementary matrix? Well, if you multiply by this matrix, then you will see that you get this matrix on this side. So I urge you to carry out the computations and double check. How can we get our elementary matrices? Well, let's say we have this elementary row operation. We add negative three times row one into row three. To get the corresponding elementary matrix, we take the identity matrix, so a square matrix with ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And then we just do the row operation to this identity matrix. So if we do negative three times the first row and add it into this row, then we get this matrix. And this is the elementary matrix that corresponds to this row operation. So what about the other two? If we want the elementary operation of interchanging let's say row two and row four, well, we first need to specify what the size of the matrices are that we are dealing with when we do these row operations. But let's say that we are dealing with a four by four matrix, then we just do this row operation to the identity matrix of the corresponding size so that we get this matrix, which will be the elementary matrix that corresponds to this row operation. What about the scaling operation? Let's say for two by two matrices, you would do this operation to this matrix. So this would be your row operation. So if we want to do the row operation where we multiply row one by seven to this matrix, we can just do a matrix multiplication of this elementary matrix by this matrix. We need to make sure that our elementary matrix has the same number of columns. So if we do this multiplication, if you do row times column, you'll see that you end up with this matrix. So what is the elementary matrix that would take negative three times the first row and add it into the second? What size would it be? Well, because this has four rows, we need to make sure to multiply by a four by four elementary matrix of this row operation. So if we do this matrix multiplication, one zero 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 means that you'll only get these first two entries. And then in the second row, we'll have negative three times one plus three, so it's zero and negative six plus four, which is negative two. And then zero zero one zero. So the only entries that matter are these five and six. So they stay the same. And similar reasoning tells you that these stay the same. So we can see that multiplication by this elementary matrix gave us a corresponding elementary operated matrix. Why we would study elementary matrices is that if A is an invertible matrix, then we can rewrite A as some product of elementary matrices. And this fact will come in handy from time to time when we want to prove things about invertible matrices. Suppose we want to do...